Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're continuing on with our team of the year, chosen by you guys. So we're going to start off with our goalie. We'll start off with Tom Heaton. Yeah, well deserved. Well deserved. He had a good year with Burnley. Necessarily didn't struggle. Um, some amazing saves, especially against Latan. And I remember one yeah. of the games there. Old Trafford, I think yeah. it was. Wasn't he it? broke he his just, wrist, did he? Yeah, <laughs> just continued playing. But um, I think the. <laughs> Listen, I've been in England for a week, bro. Okay. Calm down. It's been in England. Yeah, been in England. Why'd you in Canada? Yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think with a back four, like with Loughton and Ward, I know you just nominated Ward for best left back in the league. But, um, he was so less, in the shortlist. He wasn't nominated. Yeah, I know, but you just didn't nominate Eric Peters. So. Oh, all right, sorry. Touch your subject. <laughs> Touch your subject. Um, I think with Loughton and Ward being his full-backs for a lot of the season and they get beat quite a lot. Um, going back across it and stuff, he dealt well with all of that and dealt well in the shot stop and sense as well. And he's broken his way into the England setup too. He's had an outstanding season. And even if, say, Bernie were to go down next year, as I think a lot of people would assume, um, I don't think he'll be a Championship player in two years' time. I think he's guaranteed that he's going to be a Premier League player for probably the rest of the I think he'll career. go this summer anyway. But that's the goal that you guys chose. As far as another kind of surprising vote, and a lot of Man United fans came screaming out, was that right back, uh, Antonio Valencia? Yeah, um, I think well deserved. I think, but above Kyle Walker, um, I wouldn't be putting Kyle Walker in there now. Uh, above Moses, above Karen Trippier, ability, I would. Uh, above James Coleman before he got injured as well. I think Valencia's been far and away the best fullback in the league this year. He's. I think gone. Mourinho's definitely worked on his uh, his defensive side of his game, and a lot of United fans have had him as their player of the season. Yeah. Um, just something I don't like about Valencia's right back. I don't know why. I just doesn't. For me, he he has been great from the season, and I he's think been there attacking out. Like I just just yeah. I just don't see him as a right back for some reason. I don't know why, but he has been he has been sensational. But for me, Moses, well, Walker as well. But Walker's just annoying me now that he's leaving us. So. Well, Valencia got the most votes, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Valencia got has to go with the with the well, public. Well, so. Valencia got United's so. player of the season as well, so yeah. he's obviously what? doing. He got United's player of the season as well, so yeah. he's obviously seems doing to be the people's right. champ. We should take on yeah. the rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> offer notorious United fan over here on the left. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Aussie United <laughs> fan. Um, as far as our centre house, we'll probably do them together. Um, Gary Cahill. Kale, 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 His ancestors will be turning in his grave now. Yeah, it was Irish uh, ancestors. <laughs> his yeah. normally normal family be turning in the grave, and they hear you saying that. Uh, <laughs> they'll have to come and find me. Uh, <laughs> justified, uh, Gary Cahill. It's got the most um, amount of goals. Uh, Aldo Arrell, they probably say he's probably the best defender. Uh, yeah, as in, like just defending worse. Um, like, I think statistically, I think for... you got goals and you got like yeah defensive quality. So. I think for me, Azpilicueta would be in there ahead of either of them. That's what he thinks. I just, he's not, he's not going to let me have it. We had a discussion about it before this, and he's not going to let me have him in a two. Not in a two, so, no. In a three, yeah. Not in a two. Um, no but way. I think he's been the outstanding defender in the league this year. I think Cahill and Olivero have had really good seasons. Who's but Cahill? Oh, I still go on. He, he will not let this die. No, 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 no. Um, we'll have to go to him. Yeah, but Cahill and Oliver have had good seasons. I think Cahill stepped up really as a leader for Chelsea this year with John Terry, you know, declining into absolute farce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor Earl John Terry. Um, and he'll probably, captain, he'll probably captain England now going forward and stuff as well. So he's probably yeah. the outstanding English central defender and it is the Premier League, so you kind of have to vouch for one of them. I'll let you go into Oliver Earl. Yeah, Oliver Earl is a standout performer for me. Um, I think deservedly in there is passing range. As I said in the when we did the video on the centre backs, eight last eight seasons now he's in the top the top defence for six of them and the second best defence for for two of them. It just speaks about him about how he organises the defence and and how much of a leader he is out there on the pitch. Yeah, I like him. But what's the story with Barney? It's a do- picture was, he put up a picture with his whole family on yeah, Instagram they all have the, the same. they all have the exact same they all have the same it's and like they all go Paul, you just so, are you a so distant sleepy. cousin yeah nah better look you're just jealous you can't get it uh, like that can't get it the whole way yeah. across you don't have the thickness anymore <laughs> yeah, so it's rapidly declining um, as far as uh, left back uh, another one who got a lot of votes is uh, Mikel Alonso yeah Marcos Alonso Marcos, Marcos. <laughs> um, where am I getting Mikel from Antonio yeah, maybe Mikel Antonio no. No. Okay. I thought, uh, I, uh, sorry. Um, Try, uh, Alonso's younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better for you? Yeah. Um, I think he's probably been... Your finger su- <laughs> He's been the surprise package uh, in the Premier League all season for any player in any position. 
a lot of fans for a lot of fans from Chelsea even when he came in were very skeptical about the price tag and about where he was going to fit in and everything like that. They probably thought he was going to be a backup to Azpilicueta and a four at the back, but he's come in and he's been phenomenal. Yeah, it's it was interesting. Like you saw him at uh, sorry at Bolton, uh, you saw him at Sunderland, and like two relegation scraps, and he just. Hmm. I don't know. When yeah, well, he did play for Fiorentina. Yeah, no, I know. They're not well. Yeah, a lot well, of them play well, well and a lot of them play well in Italy, though, when they come over. I just was a bit surprised when he came over, but yeah, he's definitely been uh, an animal going forward in that wing. He's got popped up with a few goals, a few crackers as well. Yeah. And he's he's all around defensively. He's added, a, added quite a bit to Chelsea and him, and I suppose if we move up into the midfielders. Yeah. The, uh, the but, two centre mids, one of the main ones there is, I think, is the other. Big addition for Chelsea. You can defend Ngolo, can't I? Oh. Me and Paul are going to go against you here. He's, here. he's won the league with Leicester, who are never going to win the league. He's came in, he's the only player different other than Alonso really in that Chelsea team. Or you can say Moses as well, I suppose. He's won two leagues in a row. And to win two leagues in a row on two different teams, and it's Chelsea team that struggled last year, I know they gave up Mourinho. And uh, they won the league. And a Leicester now. team. And he was, the, he was the reason that Leicester won the league last year. You can talk about Mahrez, you can talk about Vardy. He's everywhere. He's ever on the pitch. He's like having two players. If you put him in the Spurs team, would they win the league? Do you think? Uh, no, they'd still just put the pressure on. No, yeah. <laughs> at least we gave a title chase. Spurs won this year. Uh, at, least we, at least we gave a title chase. No. Portsmouth yeah, down there. <laughs> yeah, we, won a, we won a league title this oh, year. You yeah. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, as far as uh, Kante, it would be my ideal choice. I think uh, Idrissa Ganagay. Uh, deservedly and statistically, he has been better than him this season. He just doesn't get the recognition. But in fairness, I'm not gonna. Fault. I'm not gonna go against uh, your decision, and I'll have to uh, take it on the chain here and yeah, put I'd, him in the team. I'd have gone with Gay as well, but between Glenn and everyone out there, they all went for um, Kante. I think we might be the only two people really. I can, I can see where he's, where he's here. coming well, from, with Gay, but like it just Kante's won two leagues. Okay, now, well, uh, it's because <laughs> because he's gonna cover everything that like, gave us the license to throw Eli, uh, Deli Ali right in front of him. Yeah, now. because he's not gonna track back, is he? Yeah, and he scores yeah, goals. He does the odd bit, but yeah, the goals and just does nothing but score goals. Uh, yeah. that's something else for uh, seeing Lampard out saying that he's not a midfielder, and um, he wants to reclassify him as a striker just so he doesn't beat out uh, Lampard's records. But I, I think he's a, I think he's a more forward-thinking player than any sort of. Mm. I don't, I don't realistically see if Spurs were to change manager, or change system, that if he was to move back into say a two in midfield or a three in midfield and play deeper, I don't think he'd be anywhere near as effective. No, no, it's being, his runs after the yeah, second man. Yeah, it's been right just all... He's kind of a second... He's developed into really a second striker more yeah, so. We're just being really old school with our formation here. Yeah, Leicester yeah. did... 4-1-2-1-2. Hang on, Leicester did win the, win the league on a 4-1-2. So last year, though. Yeah, it's, <laughs> this should have been in, this should have been in three four two one. Mm. Let's be fair. I think more four three three. But anyway, uh, as far as our uh, wingers, uh, was that Liverpool fans would be happy that their their man got a mention here, uh, Manny. Yeah, we well, well, both of us were agreeing on Ericsson, but at the same yeah. time, Liverpool they they got top four in the end. They did, a, they did a good <clears throat> good season, but Manny for me, he like he was the only standout player. In the yeah, Liverpool but he's, he's like, he was like. Uh, like he was scary for the yeah he was like, noticed you could notice the difference when he wasn't there like yeah, they were just a different team with him in there and his impact I think for me yeah uh, but we as you said Ericsson and we both kind of bowed for him a little bit there yeah. and you gave up in the end and <laughs> caved on Mane but um, I think Ericsson people, people uh, I think Ericsson's had a far better season than Mane and been far more effective genuinely mm. I've, he's you he's have been to keep Liverpool fans happy he's, yeah, Istanbul was only a few years what do you, what do you think <laughs> he's been integral or Ericsson's been integral to everything Spurs have done this year and I don't think Spurs would have finished second without him yeah. um, no 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 I it's, agree. it was very tight between the two I completely agree in now terms on. of again the formation again though you're 4-4-2 four, 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 if you're going 3-4-2-1 here I think Ericsson maybe slips in on the yeah <laughs> it's, he's playing out wide we'll as far as uh, the other side I mean there was it was really an old brain yeah. for the left wing uh, there was a couple although, although Gilfie Sigurdsson had a case yeah, yeah, I think he genuinely did. A couple of Sanchez chance as well. Oh, Sanchez, yeah, but I mean, he ha- he was so good that he he was nominated for two positions. I didn't get on either. <laughs> <of them. laughs> um, but Hazard, like he 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 definitely just turned off from Mourinho last year. He's a new player again. He's 
Yeah, don't know. Like the, he kicks on. He he. Like, oh, I'd say he'll end up in Madrid, but like he's just when not he's on it. No, I don't think this not season. this year now. But I, I think I think it's coming. I think yeah. Ronaldo might go out next year and then he'll come in. Or you don't know what way it works. Well, I think it would be more Benzema and maybe Bale go from Madrid and oh. Ronaldo move central and yeah, that sure frees up space. But that's, that's for another video. Over there too. Yeah, stuff like Morata and Asensio and Isco. Yeah, no, <laughs> as far as our um, our two strikers. Yeah, Harry Kane is undisputed. It's kind of he's been the best striker in the league this season. Harry Kane. He's one of our own. <laughs> Red Lorry. <laughs> um and then uh, as far as uh yeah, well at least one effort to player got in, I suppose. We won't be an effort player for long. Uh, no. Sanchez is my vote there, but yeah, I think uh, the I think the one the one, the one player the one player I don't want in the whole thing gets in. Uh, uh, the well, Kaku, let's have man everyone's vote. Let me have him. Anyway, uh, what was that? Lukaku, Lukaku was everyone's second vote. Like he, he did well, and it, I'm gonna go out there and say not that good in everything team. I thought there would have been a lot better. And, and nah, they're gonna spend big this summer. They, they, yeah, they spent that's this summer though, and they probably get loads for Lukaku. Yeah. He's worth yeah. the fortune, but yeah. at the same time, Lukaku did well. To be honest, we need a fresh one. In yeah, but he did well in, in I suppose not the best service. Is it? Um, is the biggest freshman up that Everton could have though bringing back Jared Delafoy from Milan. Yeah, uh, well, we'll see about that. We still are in Europe now, so another. Yeah, anyway, we'll leave that. Europe. We'll leave that discussion for another day. Yeah. That's uh, the team that you guys uh, chose. Right. So just to recap on the team of the season, then of, as voted by you guys, we have Heaton and Gold. Yeah. Uh, Antonio Valencia from United at right back. Cahill and Alderweireld at centre back. Cahill and Alderweireld. Alonso at left back. Can't Which Alonso? Marcus Alonso. Marcus. Oh, I thought Mikel, Mikel Alonso. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think he quite got in there. Um, <laughs> Adrisa Gay and Deli Ali in centre midfield. <laughs> Kante! Kante in midfield. Okay, Ingalo Kante and Deli Ali in centre midfield. Hazard Amane out in the wings. And Kane and Lukaku up front. You have Sounds Chasing good. the lorry. Sounds glorious. <laughs> Sounds glorious. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that's, the, uh, that's the team voted by you guys. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Have a great week.